Hello and welcome back to World of Tanks with Deadmus Gaming. Today we are playing the Jagdpanzer E100. So yes, this is yet another German tank destroyer that's going on the channel. But that's sort of the flavour of the month. Well, should I say year? It's probably going to turn out to be. So, what's my purpose today? Well, it is to complete the Triumph mission for the T-55A. I must deal 6,000 damage while also securing 3 kills. Let's see if I can do it in this match. And the Jagdpanzer E100 is certainly one of the tanks for the job. With 1050 alpha damage and 299 standard penetration, this tank can create massive holes in its enemies. And so, alongside an E100 chassis and a decent superstructure, this tank can also take a few blows, although it does have a couple of weaknesses, the lower plate and that little cupola up there. Other than that, this tank's pretty strong in terms of its armour. So before we get into the action, I'm using a mix of fixed and free cameras just for your attention. And yeah, M103, not renowned for its side armour, and as you can see there, we do 1055 damage to them flush. I overangle a little bit and that Liberté manages to plant one into me, but trust me, I shall get my revenge on him. Yes, that little dastardly tier 8 premium tank does not have good side armor either. I actually low roll, and if I high rolled a little bit, he would have died, but I can't really complain when a low roll is over a thousand damage. So this is very favourable matchmaking indeed, only 3 tier 10s on either team, and thankfully for us, the enemy Jagdpanzer E100 decided to go down onto the other flank. Another 1000 damage there, and as you can see that can the weak spot. It is a viable tactic to use if you are fighting against one of these vehicles. But it is not wise to sit in front of its gun for too long lest it smack you in the face. Overangling Martian. Completely average roll for 1050. Very satisfying. This vehicle is just so satisfying to play. The reload is very long, about 23 seconds I think, or maybe 22, I'm not entirely sure. But once you do reload and get those shots in, this tank is so fantastic. And with 299 pen, I can pen the cheek of a Malsham with no problems. That was actually a very poorly aimed shot because it could have gone right and bounced, and auto bounced, I should say, off the area of that Malsham's turret. But thankfully it didn't, and we get to roll on. So I've got a kill and 5k damage so far. So I'm certainly on my way to getting this TD mission completed. A uh, bit of German on German action here as I ran into that E50. But it's not so hard about that. And that's a Skoda T50. Now you know how I um, pen that mountain turret with no problems? Apparently, the flat frontal turret of the Skoda T50 is too strong. You know, and I even wiggle my barrel in frustration there. Because that was quite ridiculous. If I can pen a Malshan, I should be able to pen a Skoda T50. That's, that's all I'm saying, folks. And, yes, I was talking about that lower plate weak spot earlier. And that Jagdpanzer yeah, E100 felt it. A high roll and a fire means that my damage output is now over 6.2k. And if I manage to acquire one more kill... TD-15 will be accomplished. But I'm in, I've dri driven into quite an annoying spot here. I'm completely surrounded by tanks. But I feel like some of them are distracted at some point. So I'm just sort of hoping to spot one of them. And there's the IS-3. And this side armour is a troll. But my gun is slightly more potent than is. So yes, I have secured my 6k damage and my 3 kills. TD-15 is done, and I'm a happy man. As I go charging down this hill, 
Lords of Terror. Vanquish this T50 who caused me so many problems at the start of the game. But Scorpion G appears from the bushes and a beautiful Amorak shuts him down. And here again is that lower plate weak point here. Just getting penned there by the T50 who does not have good penetration mind. And I've got to be wary of those guys on the other flank. And that T10, who I just realised now is on my own team, puts one into me. And, alas, the bat chat finishes me off from the bushes. And I don't know why my... Oh, there we go. Well, I don't know what's happening there. But as I was saying, I don't quite know why... The camera's a bit screwed here, but there we go, I'm back. So yes, he vanquished me from over there somewhere. Penning my side, presumably, or indeed, this engine deck. And that is the end of the replay, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the battle, and I'm glad, because I'm one step closer to unlocking the T-55A, which looks like a pretty decent tank to me, and I'll have a blast playing it. Thank you for watching. Uh, I don't know how much content will be uploaded over the coming months, but we'll see. Just whether I feel like it or not. I'm sure I'll carry on the Ten Horror Game series. Uh, and of course, World of Tanks alongside. So thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time.